Look at this belly. 35 weeks, you guys. This is insane. And to think that it's just gonna get bigger. <laughs> oh my God. My due date is very quickly approaching. I have about a little over a month to go. Five weeks to be exact. <laughs> and so therefore I have been watching so many videos about things that I absolutely need. Basically all of the newborn essentials. I've been writing it down and I have purchased quite a few things from that list. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys today because I'm just so excited. I was gonna wait until my baby was actually born to be able to really give you guys a better idea of the things that have worked for me and that haven't. But because every single baby is different and because I am an impatient little bitch, <laughs> I decided to not wait. And I'm just gonna share all these things with you today. Okay, so here we go. One of the most recommended items is a boppy. A boppy is for when you feed your baby. So it's meant to go around your belly and you just plop your baby down there as you're letting him breastfeed. And it's meant to help support and so that you don't have to be like holding your baby the entire time. Apparently it's amazing. Um, I've heard great things about it. Oh, now that I'm looking down, there are so many other things that you can do as well. You can use it for feeding. You can use it for propping the baby up, for sitting, and tummy time as well. And it even tells you at what point, at what stage. So propping at three months, tummy time at six months, and then sitting at nine plus months. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I've heard amazing things about it and I'm so excited to give this one a try. So this is just the pillow itself. Um, and then this is the cover that I got for it. Very neutral, very plain, but I love it. I've also heard so many people talking about Frida Baby and saying that Frida Baby is like a godsend for newborn babies or like babies in general. So my friends got me this four pack and in here we have the snot sucker, which sounds really gross, but apparently when your kid is feeling a little bit congested, you like stick this little tube thing right into like the opening of their nose, the little nostril, and you put the other end in your mouth. <laughs> this is gonna sound really gross. And then you suck it, but there's like a little filter inside that keeps the snot from going into your mouth, so it's not as gross as it seems, although it does still seem a little bit nasty. But again, I've heard so many people saying great things about it and I'm so glad that I was gifted this set. Um, but yeah, and then there's also the gas passer, which is, now that I think about it, Frida Baby has a lot of really gross things. Apparently when your baby is really gassy, <laughs> you put this one in their little butthole and apparently it helps relieve the gas. <laughs> it does sound really gross, but again, I've heard great things. And then there is a little nail clipper kit and there is a brush for when they have, what is it called again? Babies tend to have like a something on their scalp. I forgot the word because I'm pregnant, okay? I have pregnancy brain, give me a break. I'm gonna put the word over here. <laughs> but yeah, it helps with that. Oh, cradle, cradle cap, cradle cap. That's the word. I remembered. The only thing in this that I'm not that excited about are the nail clippers. So instead we also got this, which is a little nail file. And these are the different kind of files that you can use. I think it's just for like different stages that the baby is at. Um, apparently this is a lot easier because baby's nails are like really fragile and you don't want to hurt them because they're constantly moving around and stuff. So I've heard a lot of people talking about this, so we got it. And then kind of along the same lines as that, we also got this oral cleaner because you have to be cleaning your baby's mouth, but you're not supposed to be using anything that's too abrasive because they don't have teeth yet or anything like that. So this is like little disposable swabs that have like a little, I don't know if it's like a gauze or something like that. And you just use it to gently clean their mouth. And then these two things were very recommended. So when you have a newborn, you have to make sure to swaddle them because they have a startle reflex. Of course you can use like a regular cloth to be able to swaddle them, or you can go with something that is just made to make your life a little bit easier. So for instance, there is this one, and this one is from Happiest Baby, and it is a Velcro swaddle. So as you can see, you just plop them in there and then you put their arms together, Velcro them shut and then zipper them shut. 
a lot of steps but i heard that this is amazing and so many people have recommended it so that is why we got that one and then we also got this this is from love to dream and it is also a swaddle so with this one he wouldn't be as constricted he would be able to have his arms up here my friends also gifted me this little diaper caddy which is amazing because i'll be able to take it around all over the house and that way i have everything that i need right at arm's length so this is perfect this is from a brand called lou and ken co it's super cute and it's very functional which is the best part about it um so in here i have some burp cloths and this is from the brand mushi and then i also have in here this is so cute i got this one on amazon i actually this one wasn't recommended by anyone but i saw it and i thought it was really cute so this is a little pacifier case and you can be able to clip it basically anywhere so you can put it on your diaper bag or you can put it on your stroller or whatnot and then inside we have a little pacifier already so this one is by the brand hevia hevia i'm not sure but like check out how adorable this is <laughs> I really hope he does like these pacifiers because they're just so cute. And then we also have a pacifier clip that we can be able to clip to his clothes. And this one is by the brand Mushi as well. And then I have some nipple butter and this is by Earth Mama. And then I also had a diaper cream and I don't know where I put it. It has gone missing. It is from Bordeaux. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've heard really great things about that specific diaper cream, but I also have this one by Waleda as well, just in case, because I never know which one my baby is going to have a reaction to. I hope none of them. But yeah, so I also have this one. I need to figure out where the freaking <laughs> Borge Rose one is because I know I have it. I think I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I got it. Did I imagine that? And anyways, to go with that, we also got one of these. I heard it could get a little bit annoying to apply the diaper cream with your fingers because it gets under your nails and it's really frustrating to get out. So a lot of people have been saying to get one of these little spatulas. So you just take like a huge glop of it and you paste it on your little baby's booty and apparently it's a lifesaver. So I got one. And then we also got a little thermometer like this that's meant to be very easy to use. Ooh, we got some bottles. So I've heard so many people saying so many different things about so many different bottles, so I didn't know what to get. I was very overwhelmed. So I decided to get a glass bottle just because I feel like these are really, really easy to clean. So this one is by Avent, and I think it's just their like newborn glass bottles. We got two of these and then we also got these ones from Boone and this one has like a little silicone pouch inside. I don't know if you can really see that. But anyways, this is meant to help with babies that are dealing with colic because it's meant to not have any air come inside of their mouth as they are feeding. So apparently this is amazing and apparently this one is amazing too. So we shall see which one he prefers. Maybe he'll like both. Who knows and then we also got this which is the baby brezza and this is a bottle and pacifier sterilizer and dryer of course you don't necessarily need one of these you can always just like manually wash everything or you can just toss it into your dishwasher but i felt like we would be using way too much water if we put it into a dishwasher because we don't use a dishwasher every single day anyway and i feel like this is just an easier way of being able to have everything cleaned faster, more efficiently. And so we got this because again, so many people recommended it and I feel like it's gonna be very, very necessary and helpful. You guys, I'm sorry, this is so out of order. <laughs> I probably should have planned this video out a little bit more, but instead I'm just reaching for whatever and then showing it to you guys. So anyway, this is the breast milk storage bag that I got that everyone was recommending. This is just by Lansano. And then to go with this, I also have this little tiny pump that I can be able to use underneath my clothes. I've heard so many people talking about like the Hakka and that it's really great because it catches any letdown. But I feel like this might be more useful because I can easily put it under my bra and just wear it around the house rather than having to like hold a pump up to my boob. <laughs> 
I feel like that would become a little bit annoying. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting this one. And then I also got this breast pump and this is by Spectra. It is their S2 model. Um, I heard great things about this. This is obviously just part of the breast pumping system. The rest of the parts are downstairs. You know how I was saying that everything is a little bit out of order? Well, this should have been in the diaper caddy and it's not yet. I still need to organize everything. But these are the diapers that we got. We actually, for some reason, got two diapers from the same brand. I don't know why we got two in the end, but apparently this is very natural and it's supposed to be very soft and gentle on your baby's bottom, which is why we decided to go with these. And then along the same line as that, we also got these water wipes. Another thing that I heard a lot of people talking about is getting a camera for your car. So this way you can be able to see your baby, make sure that everything is okay while you're taking a drive. I know a lot of people usually use mirrors, but I've heard a lot of people raving about using a camera instead because with a mirror, you usually have to turn around to get a better look at your kid anyway. And this just makes everything so much easier. So we got this. I'm really excited to install this, hopefully soon. And then we also have our car seat, which is a little bit too heavy for me to pick up, but it is the Nuna Pippa Light. We ended up getting one of the models from Pottery Barn just because they have this really cute design for one of them that's like exclusive with Pottery Barn. Um, it's really cute. It's also super functional and so many people say great things about it And then to go along with that we also have the Nuna stroller I can't remember which one we have which model so I'm gonna go ahead and link everything down below just to make everything a lot easier um, But yeah, the stroller is literally the smoothest thing I have ever pushed <laughs> it is so amazing and we also got a bassinet for it and we also have a different kind of top that I think is just for when he gets a little bit older. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to test that out with him inside because so far I've only tested it out with my boy Grogu, you know, baby Yoda. And it worked amazing, <laughs> but still I think it's gonna be a lot more enjoyable to push around an actual baby. And then I also got this and this is the Outlet Smart Sock. So you basically just put this as a sock on your baby and it monitors his oxygen levels, their heart rate, along with a few other things. Oh yeah, it also tracks their sleep data and it sends you wellness notifications. I heard that this can make you go a little bit crazy because sometimes it can send you false alarms. But to be honest, I think I'd rather receive false alarms than not know if my baby is doing okay and then just be constantly worried, so. We got this, and I do think that this is going to be super helpful, especially for people like me that have anxiety. <laughs> so I'm excited to try this out. And the last thing that I wanted to mention that I also got is something that I'm not gonna be able to physically show you because it's a little bit heavy, but it is the Diaper Genie. So it's basically just a diaper pail, but the reason why so many people recommend it is because it does a really good job, apparently, at keeping the stench of the diapers inside of the bin. But anyways, I believe that is all. I feel like I might be missing a few things, but that's okay. <laughs> if anything, I will do a part two, or maybe I will revisit this video once my baby's actually born, and then I'll let you know what worked for me and what didn't. But of course, every baby is different, and that's something that I keep reminding myself as well, because even though all of these things were recommended by so many people, there might be some things that maybe just don't work for me and so I have to be open to potentially trying something else out. But for the time being, I think that this will work. I'm hoping, okay, fingers crossed. But anyways, if you have any other recommendations for some newborn essentials that I have not talked about yet, then be sure to leave them in a comment below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!